Welcome back. This is part two of my video on different ways kids think about subtraction. Another strategy I've often seen kids use is using bar model. This is what bar model would look like for this problem. So bar model is a very good model to use for this particular problem. We want to travel 93 miles to grandma's house. So far we've traveled 38 miles and we need to find this distance right here how much we have left, how many more miles left to get to grandma's house. Well, this is a very flexible model, so I could solve it lots of different ways. Um, one way a student might solve it, if they're good at doubling numbers, they know that this is 38, so I could double that with another 38. So 38 plus 38, that gives me 76. Then I could add, add 4 to the 76 to get uh, to 80, then I would need to add 13 more to get to 93. 80 plus the 13 would give me 93. So then, this distance right here would be the 38 plus the 4, which is 42, plus 13, which gives me 55. So the distance I have left to travel is 55, 55 miles. This is what the 93 minus 38 might look like using an open number line. So I'm going to start at 93, and I want to end at 38. Uh, one thing I could do is I could subtract 60 from 93. So I'm going down, but I overshoot a little bit. I took away 60, and that got me to 33. That was a little too far. So now to get to 38, what would I need to do? Well, I would have to, I'd have to add 5. So I add 5 there to get to 38. So now I'm trying to, to find the, the distance between the 93 and the 38. That would be going down 60, then up 5 so for a difference of, of 55. Using an open number line, I could also go up. So maybe I start at the 38, and then I could add, add 60. That would take me to 98. That was too far. We only have to go 93. So then I go back, back 5 to 98 minus 5. To 93. So then the difference, if I went up 60 and back 5, that would be a total of, of 55. So the distance between 93 and 38 is 55. This next method, the standard algorithm, is the method that most parents are familiar with. It's the method that probably most of us learned when we were in school. It goes like this. 93 minus 38. Well, we were taught that we can't take 8 from 3, which we know isn't true. But what we need to do is we don't have enough 1s. So to take 8 1s away, so we need to borrow from our 10s. So if I take a 10 from 90, I now have 80. And I take that uh, that 10 that I brought and break it into 1's, so now I have 10 that I add to the, to the 3, so now I have 13 1's. So you can still see that I have 80 plus 13 would give me 93. So I take 13, now I can take away the 8, which gives me 5, and I have 80 take away 30, which gives me 50, my answer of 55. This is another algorithm that's used in, in the Netherlands. It's called subtracting by partial difference. The way it works is I do 93 minus 38, but instead of working from right to left, they actually work from left to right. So, so my thinking here, I go 93 minus 30, which gives me 63. 
So I'll put my thinking off here to the side so you can see it. So that was 93 minus the 30, okay, which gave me my 63. So then next, I'm I need to subtract 8 more. Um, so I'm going to basically decompose the 8 into a 3 and a 5. So I first take away the 3, which gets me to 60. Then I take away the 5 more to get me to 55. The next strategy I'm going to show you is called compensation. So with this, I want to get the numbers um, to look a little bit more like each other. So I have a 3 here and an 8 here. Well, I could add 5 to 93 and make it a 98. So I could do 98 minus 38. That's a little bit easier problem. Uh, that's a total of 60. Well, I added 5 to get to 98, so now I need to take that 5 away. So if I take the 5 away, that will show me that that's 93 minus the 38. And so then I have to take away the 5 from the 60 as well, which would give me my answer of 55. So 93 minus 38 equals 55 using compensation. So another way I might use compensation is to change the 38. So I might think, think of it this way. 93 minus 33, that gives me 60. Well, I need to take away 38, and I only took away 33, so I need to take away 5 more. So I need to take 5, from, five more from the 60, which gives me my answer of 55. This last strategy is subtraction by constant difference, is thinking about subtraction as a, as a distance. So I need to find the distance between 38 and 93. Those are kind of messy numbers, so I can actually change the problem a little bit. Um, if I add 2 to 38, that gets me to 40. So I'm going to add 2 on this side as well. That would be 95. So the distance between 40 and 95 is the same distance between 38 and 93. Well, 95 minus 40, that's a lot easier for me to do in my head. I know that that's 55. So since that's 55, the, difference be the distance between 93 and 38 must also be 55. So one more time using constant difference, this time changing uh, the 93. Um, well, I can change 93 to 90 by subtracting 3. Well, if I take away 3 from there, I also have to take away 3 from the 38. So 90 minus... That would give me 35. 90 minus 35, that's a little bit easier for me to do in my head, is 55. So the distance between 90 and 35 is 55, which would also be the same distance between 93 and 38, which is also 55. Thanks for taking the time to watch my videos about subtraction.